currently 5.50 and uh, a whole bunch of guys with trucks just arrived here in this field because actually they launch hot air balloons from this field. They've all just arrived and they've started setting up their hot air balloons. It's time for us to set up Bumblebee and head over to Pamukkale. Here. Yeah, these guys are really starting to set up around us. So what do we do? We're just going to swing it back so we can get get that way. Okay, three, two, one. All right. Whoa! All the balloons are going up everywhere around here. Wow. It's funny because on iOverlander it did say that balloons launch from here, but I didn't realize that it was like this many balloons. All right, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Whoa, this is a crazy scene. Okay, this is the steepest bit, but it looks all right. Okay, good. Yep, easy. Okay. Okie dokie. Look at this car now. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get past them. Wow, is this a busy place? Insane. Careful here. Yeah, they don't leave a lot of room, do they? <laughs> oh, coffee van. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Cappadocia all over again, hey? Yeah, I think Turkey is really famous for, for balloon rides. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but there's balloons up on the hills over there, balloons up on the hills over there, tons of balloons next to us. It really is like Cappadocia here. So we're going to this entrance up here, aren't we? I think so, yeah. 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 It's crazy that this park opens at 6.30. The sun hasn't even risen. Oh no. Look, it's busy. Yeah, but not compared to yesterday though. There's like a million tour buses here. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Whoa, there's a whole crowd of people here as well. Yeah, look, there's only a couple of vehicles. Yeah. Bye, Bumblebee. So we were camping yesterday and we actually forgot to charge our vlogger. We are vlogging with at the moment. <laughs> so we've got a power bank connected. That'll have to do. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we made it. Yes. I can see the balloons already. We were camping basically here, exactly where these guys are launching from. Thank you so much! Bye! Our tickets to the dream! And she just said that the Cleopatra pool, the one you can swim in, is a thermal pool. It is hot. Which is good because it's a cold morning. Thank you. Look at all the balloons behind us. <laughs> Morning world, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We are here in Pamukkale, which is also the ancient Roman city of Hierapolis. And an awesome place to fly some air balloons, <laughs> like you can see here. That's a view. Absolutely amazing. The balloons are just passing right over the thermal pools. Everyone gets a really nice foot bath. <laughs> 
So this is Pamukkale, meaning cotton castle in Turkish, and you can see why. This is the carbonite mineral left over from the thermal spring water that flows from the edge of this mountain. But Pamukkale is not this area's original name. This used to be Hierapolis, an ancient Greek city founded around this thermal spa. So we are bathing in the same waters as the ancient Greeks and Romans. People have been coming here to visit this thermal spa since the second century BC. And that's why the pool that you can actually swim in on this site is called the Cleopatra Pool because Cleopatra was here. We are going to be bathing in the same waters that Cleopatra bathed in. How cool is that? I didn't even know the balloons would be here. It's the best surprise for today, really. That's crazy. It's a beautiful place, but it does really hurt the feet to walk on this. I think every single person who's walking this trail here has foot pain afterwards. <laughs> it's like therapeutic. <laughs> and look, we've got the sunrise behind us. It was early. <laughs> it was an early start. We just went to the Cleopatra pool and uh, it doesn't open until 8. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the ancient city of Hierapolis. So the ancient Greek city of Hierapolis was founded on the top of this, what they call a travertine, the thermal springs. And it has been a thermal spa since the second century BC. Originally, Antiochus the Great sent 2,000 Jewish people to this area, but eventually the Jewish population grew to 50,000. Hierapolis became famous as a healing center where doctors used the thermal spring water to treat their patients. It's unclear whether the name is in reference to the goddess Hera, or whether it's Hierapolis, meaning holy city. And the ancient ruins today, as well as the travertines on the edge of the hill, became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988. It's open! Go, go, go! <laughs> the water is steaming. Oh, wow. Oh. That's so nice. Oh. Is it warm? It's beautiful warm. Wow. So you're swimming in the same water as Cleopatra. I never told you, but I am Cleopatra. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody forgot to clean up here. <laughs> it's so cool. They actually left the ruins of the ancient Greek pillars in the pool. So they're like little obstacles that you can swim around and swim over. What a magical place. How was that? I feel like a new human. Wow. <laughs> Lavi 2.0. Anyway, so it's past nine o'clock now. It's time to find some coffee and some breakfast. So we couldn't afford the breakfast there actually because they did burgers, but they were like 10, $15. So we are just having our favorite snack here, fried corn with some peanuts. <laughs> just the breakfast of champions. So now that we've swam in Cleopatra's pool, we're gonna go and explore a little bit more of the ancient city of Hierapolis. So let's go see some real ruins. Oh wow, look at that. Massive here. Absolutely massive. Do you think they had like like fights down there as well? They would have had probably tigers and lions coming out of there. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> they might have been gladiators here. That's super impressive. Wow, I didn't expect that.
So this amazing Roman amphitheater was built in the 3rd century AD. It was built by the Emperor Septimius Severus and was still in use until 352 AD. You can see behind me the beautiful marble columns and huge sandstone blocks. It's such an impressive structure and you can really imagine back nearly 2,000 years ago people would have been filling this amphitheater basically watching people kill each other proper Game of Thrones style <laughs> scary it's just amazing that 2,000 years ago they were already this advanced they had a super advanced system of aqueducts in the city they had thermal baths that you could bathe in they had amazing amphitheaters for entertainment they were like living the good life yeah it looks like it Guys, can I just say, when you visit an attraction, get there early. Look at this place now. It's crazy how different it is. I'm so glad that we actually waited and didn't go yesterday afternoon and that we had this place literally for ourselves this morning with the balloons in the air. It was so magical. Sometimes you have to be a little bit more patient. Yeah, and sometimes you have to wake up early yeah. and then you get a good reward. Yes. The water was pouring up here. The color of this one was turning into normal rock. Bye bye, Pamukale. All right, that's enough ruins for today. It's time for our real breakfast. Actually, we don't have much. We just have. <laughs> Is that it? Oh no! <laughs> it's just at the end of the bread. <laughs> Yeah, too big, isn't it? They are from Sri Lanka. I'm from Sri Lanka? Yeah. Oh, nice. Come there. Sri Lanka. Okay, we come to Sri Lanka. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Very nice couple. Eh? Very nice couple. Eh? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Nice trip, guys. Yeah? See you in Sri Lanka. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, yes, baby. Bumblebee is rolling. So there you go, the beautiful thermal springs and terraces of Pamukkale and the ancient city of Hierapolis. Amazing! Yeah, that's just one of those places that kind of has everything. It's got a natural wonder of the world, but also this beautiful ancient history. I was super impressed. Yeah, I mean, this is like really one of the places you have to visit in your life because there's so much history and you kind of can connect with the people, you know? <laughs> You're like, yeah, man, they enjoyed their time as well. Yeah, we basically lived the life of an ancient Roman citizen. <laughs> yes. We went for a dip in the thermal baths and then we went to the amphitheater. Except there was no show on for us, nobody killing each other, which was a shame. <laughs> I can kill you if you want. Did you guys hear that? That is domestic violence. <laughs> that is verbal domestic violence. So now it is quarter past 12. We have packed a lot into our morning, but it's time to hit the road. Bye bye, beautiful place. And our next destination is Turkey's largest city, Istanbul. Yoo! And the bridge that will cross the Bosphorus Strait into Europe. <laughs> yes. It's gonna be a massive milestone on our journey. So it is way too far to get to Istanbul today. The uh, Garmin estimates that it will take us nearly seven hours to ride there. So we are just gonna ride as far as we can today and then we'll hopefully get there at some point tomorrow. So it's already 12.15 and we have a long way to go. So better hit the road, let's go. Our future motorbike. I have no idea where this motorbike's from, but it's a 100cc. It's called Salcano Tiger. How cool does that look? I like it. It's so cute. Oh, one extra baby. <laughs> yeah. Just put a backpack on the back. Yeah. Off you go. It's time for lunch, and I saw a sign here that said they have dona. Oh, what? Yes. 
<laughs> Whoa, T Turkish delight. Okay. She likes it. <laughs> Whoa, look at the amount of sausages they've got here. Whoa. This is susuk. 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 Okay. Wow, and then all of these things. I think this is like the Turkish delight, the sweets. Yes. I really like these cushions. I love this design. So really much. nice, hey? Yeah, it reminds me on um, Peru. Yeah, yeah, we've got to get some of these in the future. I just had to order a tea, a nice Turkish tea. I'm just so freezing cold, so I hope the tea will warm me up a little bit. Look at this. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, and it's so warm and hot and nice. Oh. Yummy. Forty-two thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine point nine. We just hit forty-three thousand miles on the road. <laughs> So it's currently half past three and we had a look on iOverlander during the break and we've managed to find ourselves what might be quite a beautiful camp. It's apparently a camp right on the edge of a lake and it's coming up in about an hour and a half so we should be getting there around five o'clock. Yeah that will be absolutely perfect. Yeah and then that puts us only three hours from Istanbul which means we can cross the Bosphorus Strait and we can cross into Europe tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> See if you can touch him on the nose. Hello. Oh. Hello. 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 What is on your nose, eh? Probably poop. Probably poop, eh? Hey? You have all poop on your nose. We just stopped here at the petrol station. And look what they have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want some grass to feed them? Thank you. Oh, oh, they like it. Don't let them chew your fingers. Hello. Hello! Oh, you know, it's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> you are the goat queen! Hello! Whoa! Hello! We've got a little motorcyclist here! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> <laughs> After 210 miles on the highway, it's time to come off and make camp. And look at this beautiful lake that we're going to be camping next to. It looks really promising. Yeah, it does, eh? So apparently we're coming off here, and then the camp should be like 500 meters down here, just down by the lake. Look, here's some locals yeah. sitting out. <laughs> Hello. Oh, some of them waved at us. <laughs> what a nice little village right down by the lake. How yeah. cool is that? That's charming, eh? Yeah, super charming. So, the area is basically just a, this grass area down here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this looks really nice. It does. I mean, there's lots and lots of poop on the floor, <laughs> though. <laughs> but I if don't we mind. can find a spot without poop, then I think it's lovely. Or over there. Oh. Right down by the lake. Okay. What do you think? Should we go down there? You could check it out. This it looks really peaceful here, though. Oh, it does. Look at this. There's just some it cows does. chilling. Magical. An abandoned building over there. Absolutely magical. Oh, maybe there. Oh, maybe I can actually go down and then across. Let's have a look around here. Wow, look at this place. That's really, really nice. Very peaceful. There's too many spots to decide. Uh, too many spots. Because it looks quite flat up there as well. No? Over there. Okay, let's go check it out. Okay, uh, it looks okay. grass spot here. This is like <laughs> right next to the lake. <laughs> this looks really good. Does it feel wet? No. No. There we go then. Look at that. Right on the edge of the lake. Yeah. Nice. What a spot. 
Wow, beautiful. Very cool. guys we made it happy and alive you a beautiful lakeside camp just for us and it was another crazy sunrise to sunset day today but a crazy beautiful day yes the sight this morning was just out of this world i'm so happy that we went there this morning and could experience it in the full glory it was super super nice then quite a bit of highway today but i'm really happy that we did the distance because that means that we can actually make it to istanbul tomorrow yeah i cannot wait to finally be back in europe but turkey has given us some absolutely magical places we have just one more to go crossing the bridge over the Bosphorus Strait. It's going to be awesome. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.